Hello and welcome to the R Reviews. Today we're reviewing the WWE Elite Heritage Series Kane. So yes, here we have Kane in his attire from WrestleMania 2000 or 16 if you prefer. This is my first ever WWE Elite figure. I really wanted to get the original Flashback Kane, but it's ridiculously expensive now and I waited too late to get it. So I decided to pick this up. And he is really cool. It makes me consider getting more things from this line. Um, just a really neat figure. Let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulations, copy details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Kane. Here's our standard Marvel Legends 6-inch Cosmic Armor Iron Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. Since Kane is the only elite figure I have, I don't know how he compares to normal elite figures, but I can tell he's certainly a lot bigger than a normal 6-inch scale figure, which he should be since he's about a foot taller than the average person. I think elite figures are a little bit bigger scale than Marvel Legends anyway, so I think that should work fairly well. And of course, he's much bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Now let's get everything else out of here and just look at Kane. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see Kane. His outfit is mostly black and red, and it's the inverse of his normal outfit. So the base of the outfit is black, and then the detail work is red. He's got the red flame pattern on his chest. He also has the little rivets and the missing sleeve. He has rivets on both of his cuffs. He's got the big red lightning -y flame patterns on both of his legs, and then he has his standard kind of ring boots down there at the bottom. He also has his studded belt. All in all, it's a pretty good representation of this particular outfit for Kane, so I have no real issues there. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Head sculpt-wise, Kane looks pretty good. His hair is sculpted fairly nicely, and it's kind of a rubbery piece, so it doesn't get in the way too much. His mask is sculpted nicely. It has the black and red pattern on it. The red on it is a little bit darker than the actual costume red, which is accurate, although I think it would look better if they matched. The eyes on mine are painted a bit poorly, which is unfortunate. I don't know if that's going to be a common issue, but I know it is a problem on mine. But other than that, everything looks fine. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Articulation-wise, I believe Kane is pretty much standard WWE Elite figure collection style of articulation. Ball peg in the head that moves around, rotates, all that kind of stuff. Ball joint shoulders, in and out, forward and back, bicep cut, single joint elbow, wrist rotation and hinge, abdominal joint, waist cut, hips go in and out, forward and back, thigh cut, double joint knees, boot cut, ankle hinge, and a little tiny bit of pivot. So you can get him into plenty of poses. I do wish they had like butterfly joints. I feel like whenever I'm trying to do things with him that would be very helpful. Uh, double jointed elbows would be nice too. And also the fact that his hands are not really ideal for choke slamming is kind of an issue because his gloved hand is the one that he should use for that and it's kind of in a holding position so that's another posing related issue either way Kane comes with a couple of accessories so let's go ahead and look at those accessories wise Kane comes with a fire extinguisher and a very bright blue stretcher honestly these are really just kind of garbage like I don't want them I doubt very many people that buy this are gonna want them they might be okay for kids and stuff but for a collector they're not good looking and they're just not really very useful a title belt or something would be better even though Kane didn't have a title whenever he wore this outfit but you know still eh, if you want them they're there so whatever now that about wraps it up for Kane and all of his accessories let's move on to the packaging Packaging wise, Kane has the elite style of packaging. Big window here, Kane, picture of Kane, included hand stretcher and fire extinguisher, WrestleMania Heritage Series. On the back you get a picture of Kane as well as a little bit of statistics and things like that. I'm pretty sure they messed up the height and weight here. I don't know exactly how much Kane weighs, but I know he's not six foot one, because that's about how tall I am. Kane's generally said to be about seven feet tall. I assume they accidentally left those over from some other person. These are good for in or out of package display. So yeah, Kane. All right, that wraps it up for Kane. So until next time, goodbye. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.